Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to say thank you for listening to this channel. You are important. I appreciate each one of you and I am looking forward to meeting you in heaven in person. I want to share a dream that my daughter had and also a word that I felt that the Lord gave me to encourage you. Before I do, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He died on the cross for your sins and mine and rose again after three days for our salvation. It is a joy to share the good news. If you haven't made Jesus as your Lord, please do so for the time is extremely short before his return. A few days ago, my daughter relayed to me a dream she had, which actually seems like a puzzle piece to the rapture. She had some tickets in the dream for an event with various numbers on them in a confusing pattern. We were looking at the tickets and laughing, trying to figure out what seats we were to find. There were various combinations of numbers and uh, little clues on the tickets, which seemed hard to know what they meant and where we were to sit. We tried to figure out our row and seating as we were heading for the event. We were lighthearted about it, but we knew that we had to figure this out. We walked through a long narrow hall, which led to a large stadium where many people were gathering. We could see that the numbers of the seats were now on the tickets, which were 29 and 31. We then knew where we were to go. We walked through uh, this gate and sat down in our seats. When we, she told me of the dream, I immediately thought of today, 29 and 30 to the 31st of this month. There is a blue moon, a rare super moon coming tonight. Could it be that the Lord wants to highlight these dates? The confusing numbers on our tickets remind me of how many times we've tried to figure out the rapture dates. Many dates have looked promising, but passed by. I know that Jesus is coming soon. We who are watching are looking at all the dates that look like a possibility. I'm not saying it's tonight or these dates, but I will be watching. It also means something else, and I am pondering it. Meanwhile, I felt that the Lord was telling us to stay the course and hold fast to his word. He is shaking the world's systems, and at the same time, he is saying for us not to be shaken. That is only possible by holding fast and clinging to him. It reminds me of those baby monkeys clinging to their moms while the mom is swinging from tree to tree. God is moving and shaking, but we are to hang on to him like those baby monkeys do. I felt God gave me this word of encouragement, so feel free to test all the words. I am longing for him just as you are, and I'm trying to figure out how to cling to him with all my might just as you are. Here's the word I felt he gave me. My children, my beloved children, my cherished ones, hold fast to your faith and your hope of my coming, for I will not delay any longer. Be awake with your garments washed in the blood of the Lamb, for the moments of waiting are passing into eternity. I am not slack concerning my promise. The agenda of the evil one is going to be thwarted for a time when I come for my bride. But then evil will be unleashed on the world in furious retribu retribution. The season of transition is my grace as the multitudes are in the valley of decision. Come into agreement with my word and hold fast to your faith and perseverance. I will never leave you as orphans or unguarded to be snatched up by the ravenous wolf, your enemy. Put your hope fully on my word. And then he said this word for the jaded and unbelieving and weary. He said, the word of God is a fire and will burn the chaff with relentless fire. And the clarity of my salvation will remain. Trust me, there is only one work, one name, one salvation, the wondrous mercy of the cross. My love is everlasting and remains a testament forever. To the doubters, here's what I felt he said, why do you know the truth yet remain skeptical and unmoved? 
repent and remember my sacrifice. For those, he said, who are waiting diligently and looking for my coming, my reward is with me. Look for me in the clouds. You will be saved at my coming. Endure to the very end, my chosen children. Hold fast and let no one take your crown. And that's what I felt he shared with me. I felt that the Lord was reminding us to hold on, hang on. The ride is wild, but he will keep us safe until he appears. Jesus is who we are waiting for, for he will come and his reward is with him. His word is true. He is coming for us, maybe sooner than you think. Keep looking up with anticipation and hang on tight. I felt the Lord gave me a scripture to share also. 1 Thessalonians 3, 12 through 13. Maybe it's about our attitude and how we wait. And here's what it says. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love to one another and to all, just as we do to you, so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. And then also 1 Thessalonians 4, 12 through 18. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend with from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall be forever with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Hang on to these words. Let me know what you're hearing from the Lord in the comments. Looking forward to seeing you in the clouds soon. This is Linda with Simple Help Now.